What happened in my life was getting where I've gotten to today and where I'm even headed to, I had to be tough. I had to learn how to appreciate a lot, so he took everything. To really understand the value of money, I had none. To just appreciate simple things, what I'm gonna eat today, what I'm gonna bathe, he sent me through a trial of being homeless for three years. All of that that I was tripping with, that I did not appreciate, I understand it now, because I'm on the other side of them troubles. And even though I did not understand or appreciate the route he took me on, it was the route I had to go on. And I understand that because he said, my thoughts are above your thoughts and my ways are above your ways. If he were easily understood, if he were easily diagnosed, he would not be God. Because anything that can be explained can be managed. God can never be explained. This thing about God is not received through intellectualism. God cannot be explained. He must be experienced. He must be revealed, walked out in your life, and little by little, he weans us. And we graduate from faith to faith and from glory to glory in our understanding if we are not afraid to let go of what we once held as true. Addition was all that was true until they taught me multiplication. And every round got higher and higher. And in order to embrace the next principle, I had to be willing to move beyond the one that I was taught before. It is so hard to move beyond. That God is not just getting you ready for it. God is getting it ready for you. And it makes me wonder what God's got coming up the hill for you. Sometimes you're so engrossed with the journey of what you're going through and the ruts and the ridges and the valleys you have to climb. You are not cognizant of the fact that God's got a blessing coming up the other side of the mountain coming up to meet you. It's not just you that he's moving. It's situations and, and other people. And God has to get them ready so that when we're ready, we all get to the same place at the same time. And now I'm getting ready to do something awesome in your life. I'm getting ready to do something amazing in your life. I'm not going to give you any details, but I'm getting ready to blow your mind with what I'm about to do in your life. And God is big on ideas, but he's short on details. And so he will give you an overview, but he won't give you a detailed synopsis because he wants you to walk by faith and not by sight. And so God is not big on details. He just says, something amazing is about to happen and that I, I can't explain it. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know whether it'll be here Tuesday or Friday night, but something amazing is about to happen in my life. I don't think I'll quit today. Even though my arms are weary and, and my feet are tired, I don't think I'll quit today because I think something is going to happen, but I don't know exactly what it is. Thank you. 
Don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. Prayer changed things. I was told I would never be nothing. Prayer changes things. Do you know that God would actually love to hear from you? You're not going to make it without God. If you've tried it so far, tell me how that's working out for you. I've needed him every step of the way. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be standing here today. You need God.